Hello everyone and in this video we're going to be installing Windows 95 on your phone or in this case my phone but anyway you get the idea. Basically how we're going to do this is by using an emulator called iBox PC emulator. You know like VMware or VirtualBox but instead it's on your phone which is pretty cool honestly. I use this whenever I'm bored and I don't have my computer and I just want to do something that is kind of entertaining for me. Like, it might not be entertaining for you, but for me, it's kind of cool. But anyway, let's get into it. So as you can see right now, as you could see, well, you can't really see it right now. But anyway, I have Windows 98 installed because what I did was in my testing, I installed Windows 95. But then I decided to upgrade to Windows 98 for no particular reason. Anyway, this will be a pretty cool video. And thanks to Ivan Komp, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. But anyway, thanks to him for informing me how to do this because without him this video wouldn't have even been possible in fact I'm not sure there would have even been a 100,000 view special so again thanks for thanks to him for doing that and also I would also like to thank everyone who views my videos or has even just watching this one for helping me get to 100,000 views like this is a milestone I thought I'd never achieve but I'd like to thank all of you guys because without you this wouldn't have even been possible so this is gonna probably be be one of the longer videos like maybe it might even be the longest video on my channel I'm not sure but hopefully this will be pretty entertaining you can follow along with your phone too it's kind of like a um, tutorial slash experiment video like it's kind of like both of them but anyway let's get started Okay, so now how do you do this exactly? Well, it's pretty simple if you did it, if you do it right. Basically, what you have to do first is, of course, install the app. So I'll just go into the Google Play Store here, where after all of these tabs, which I have demo um, for demos. So all you have to do is search for iBox PC emulator and then click the install button that would usually be there on an Android. I'm not sure how it is for an iPhone since I don't have an iPhone in this house. So I'm not sure how that would work, but you should probably have the same maybe it isn't because it says a port to Android but maybe there might be something similar so yes it's only for Android users unfortunately but I dare say that iPhone users will find something similar so once you have this app installed you can just open it and it will actually have like a demo like a demo sort of floppy disk inserted we don't want that we want Windows 95 of course like it's in the title literally but anyway how to get it well it's pretty easy all you have to do is go to like a website that hosts it for example I'm going to use WinWorld, great website by the way, it hosts all of this vintage software. Um, you just go click this one over here. I'm using OSR 2.5, like the latest version that was released for Windows 95. But you can also use like RTM or OSR 2, whatever you like. I wouldn't recommend using Chicago since that's like the beta version and it doesn't really play well. But it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do and what not to do. You also need a boot disk for Windows 95 since the Windows 95 CD is not bootable. So you will need this. I selected the OSR2 one. For some reason, Windows 98 doesn't work for me. So that's why I'm using the Windows 95 one. Anyway, once you have these two downloaded, which I do already on my USB, what you want to do is you want to copy them to a specific folder because for some bizarre reason, iBox PC emulator does not have the correct permissions to read from the entire phone. So what you have to do is go to where you downloaded it. So this is my USB that I use for my videos and everything. So you can have a glimpse of that. So I already have these two downloaded 2014. Okay, I did not download this in 2014. So what we want to do is we want to move these to wherever you like SD card and then Android data. Like this is where mine is. If you have an SD card, it's probably in here. And then you want to scroll all the way down or wherever it is for you. You want to find iBox, this one over here, lb.myapp.lbox, go to files. And you see that I already have a bunch over here that I tried to install as well as Windows 95 and Windows 95 boot floppy. I'm just going to move this over here. And while this is moving, I also want to inform you that my built-in file manager could not recognize this for some reason. Like when I went to SD card, Android data, it didn't have, I don't think it had the correct permissions, even though I had show system files enabled. So I'm not sure really, it says 96 items, which is true, but it just can't show them. Maybe it's like for security, but this one can, so I had to download a third party. Yeah, you can use this one 
or you can just use another one that you already have whatever you like so this is almost done copying so we're almost there and it is a bit troublesome especially um not troublesome but copying oh failed to yeah of course it failed to delete this is um for some reason it is a read only the usb but at least it managed to copy them so that's all that matters right now so anyway what i was saying was that it's going to take a long time to copy the files to the hard drive because for some reason the hard drive is extremely slow in some cases if you're really unlucky you can take half an hour to even an hour so i'll definitely have to time lapse that anyway once we're done what we can do is if you've installed this for the first time you can just open the app and let it boot into the um, demo floppy and once it's done that what you can do is you can click on the back button over here and it comes up with this menu what you want to do now is you want to go to settings drives cd-rom and then you want to search and then what you want to do is if it isn't in this folder if it's in another folder you just want to click this button over here um, a few times and then it'll show this folder so i have all of mine over here and for some reason i do not have my osr2 maybe did not copy that but oh well i'll just have to roll with it you can just um it's basically the same thing but for some reason it couldn't copy it i think it's because it failed to delete them anyway once you're done it'll be on ejected but you want to click inserted and then you want to click apply now what you want to do is you want to click on floppy search and then oh this one copied i don't know what's wrong with it then but yeah just click on the boot floppy and uh, you can just click inserted then not ejected and make sure it isn't read only and uh, select 1.44 megabyte click apply so now what you want to do is go back then go to configuration and ram and make sure that it's something like this so 250 six so you want to make sure it's below that as for me it, i won't change it but anyway let's get started basically now what we want to do is we want to go back to this main menu by clicking the back button then click on run options and then reset soft and oh oh god no i knew click on the keyboard oh no <laughs> okay so you can't really see the whole screen okay now press f12 on the screen and uh, gotta somehow hide the keyboard okay so now what you want to do is you want to um, press one on your keyboard so this will be a bit slow for me since i have to get the keyboard out and now i can hide it again so it's now booting from floppy and it should boot from floppy yep there we go starting windows 95 we need to press enter on this and wait for it patiently because sometimes this can take quite a bit okay there we go so it is going a bit more slowly so than what i'm used to maybe this is pretty fast okay so now what it should say at the top is like drive d or drive r whatever it is for you just keep that memorized because it will be important basically now what you want to do is you want to type in f disk so basically now is just like the regular installation nothing different what you would normally do i i think i memorized this you just gotta click y yep y there we go um there's an enter key enter enter oh okay it already exists of course because um I, I already have it so um i got to uh delete so that's three so i gotta go back to the keyboard type three enter and uh okay so what is delete logical so of course this isn't really follow on but if you um but if you're watching this video i assume that you've installed windows 95 already if you haven't just tell me i might make another video in case that lots of people haven't and they want to install it on their phone so i'm just gonna click on three again uh oh uh okay you know what what i'm gonna do first is uh for some i'm gonna format the c drive because i i just can't take this anymore format ah my typing format no not caps lock shift c what c wow this keyboard is so annoying format c yes we are sure we want to format the drive okay verifying three okay so it didn't um i set my hard drive to three gigabytes okay i think we need to press enter someplace okay so it's this is going to take several minutes guys so we'll be back now hopefully hopefully we can install uh, not install we can run f disk what, what is wrong <laughs> my my uh, talking is not that great today i wish i had that usb keyboard sort of thing but it is what it is you keep getting out the keyboard i would have done this in portrait but then it would be extremely hard because i bet like 100 percent of you are viewing this landscape so i'm just going to click on y enter uh let's just go with the defaults one enter enter oh why does this keep happening okay so
Okay, anyway, now what we're going to do is go to the D drive. Now what you want to do is go to the D drive and verify. You know what I'm going to do? Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to do, make sure that all of the um, files are in there. If there is a Win95 folder, then you're good. So now what I want to do is I want to navigate back to the C drive. I'm going to clear so that it is easy for you to see. And I want to make a new directory called Win95 because Windows 95 cannot recognize the CD when it tries to copy files. So you need to make a Win95 directory. And now for the longest command, that we have to type today. Copy C win. No, it's D D D win 95. Um, and now we need to do a wildcard because we need to copy everything, all of the files. C C oh no, C. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a mistake in this command. C win. 90 oh my god it, it may seem easy when you're not seeing my fingers these fingers that overlap through two keys trying to just go to one and okay there we go it's uh doing it almost there almost there copying those compressed cab files cabinet files they're like floppy disks i think that's what they are right there's there's like all of the floppy disks are kind of like put into the CD. Okay, 56 files copy. That's good news. Now what we want to do is go back to the keyboard. I'm going to clear so that you can see. You can't see me typing clear. Okay, now what we're going to do is CD. It's still in caps lock, but Windows does not care, luckily. Win 95. And we want to run set up. Okay, now it's going to run scan disk because why shouldn't it so actually the fun thing in this is you can use your mouse by just um moving your finger along and they're also like left over here left middle right but right now i'm just gonna use the uh enter key as much as i can which is that return over there okay so now it's done of course we accept the agreement i mean like if we don't it'll just kick us out as you can see it does have drive indicator light it is reading from the a drive just then now what i can do is i can just click next yeah sure see windows checking for installed components okay so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna select custom okay oem key so i'm not gonna show this okay that worked um so i'm just gonna enter in my name and uh, you know what today for the first time since like uh, forever i'm gonna enter in my company like i've actually never done this i'm gonna enter in my company as infinite tech i've never done this before in my life so okay do you want set up to search for all hardware devices yes i wanted to so i'm just gonna okay now we have both i'm just gonna just click both of these because i don't really care okay now setup is checking to see what kind of hardware is in your computer uh this is not a computer this is a phone but like same, I don't know what that's the same. So I'm just gonna select all of these while I talk. This is not gonna be really interesting for this is I'm not gonna do videos like this. I don't have like oh wait what? Oh, I just skipped through that. Okay. We'll change it to Windows Phone. Wait, isn't that already a thing? Oh yeah, right, that thing that called got killed off. And for the computer description, I'm just gonna leave it as blank. Enter. Uh everything in this is good. Enter. No, I do not want to start up disk. But if you do want to start up disk, you can insert a blank floppy. But I just don't want to do it right now. Next. And now it's going to go through the fun part. Yeah, this is going to take a while. As you can see, it is... I mean, it's going a bit faster than it did in my testing, but it's still a bit slower. So what I'll do is I'll do a speed run so that you can enjoy without going through the time. Oh, look, now it's stuck on 9%. Okay, now 10. Okay, but anyway, uh, I'll see you. <laughs> It's done! Yay! Finally! Okay, so I'm going to go click enter. Yes, there is a floppy disk. So now what we want to do is go back to settings, drives, floppy, ejected, apply, and then go back and then click enter. So now we don't have to press anything because there you go, booting from hard disk. Getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. I love that color changing window. It's going to load over here for the plug and play. Oh, okay. So I'm going to enter in my username. So I'll and no password because I don't want to have to keep hiding. You know what? Let's enter in a password. Super secure password beautiful it's even longer than my name when it's longer than your username it's secure so now what we want to do is just hide the keyboard and click enter oh oh god and now it's gonna search for plug and play devices that you may have okay so um it's finished now we just go select our time zone which i'm gonna do and uh okay so now if you want to scroll you gotta hold down the left key and then just scroll like you usually would so i'm just gonna select mine there we go and uh you know what let's just click apply close configuring windows messaging 
Okay, so we do not have, I mean like I doubt it's even available, so there's nothing to do but click cancel. So we'll just have to click cancel. Uh oh, error. Okay, yeah. Errors are kind of scary for people who don't know what they are. Oh, I, I remember this funny thing. Um, I don't know if it was in like a Endermanch video, but I remember seeing a notepad saying the operation completed successfully, but it did it in this warning box. Why would you say that? I, I don't know if that's even real, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it just cracks me up sometimes. So enter in my super secure password. You, you can just click cancel. You don't even have to. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't even enter a password. And this, this talking of mine is just going to be really weird because I've been sitting here for like almost an hour while I got everything set up. I got all of those apps ready. I don't even know if I showed all of them yet, but we installed Windows 95 and it's all good. Welcome to Windows 95. Did you know to open a program, you can just click the start button. Wow, start button. So um, first of all, let's just see our display because as you can see, we already, oh yeah, right. I'm doing left click, it's right click. Um, we already have 256 colors, so we do not need to install. Oh, yep, there you go. Let's see if we can increase this. Yep, there you go. True color. If I can go down there. Apply. Okay, uh, let's apply the... Say, I don't want to restart this computer. Not a computer, but the virtual machine. Okay, wait, what, what was that? Did you guys see that? Did that look like Windows 98? W what? I'm just going to increase this by a little so that you can still see. But let's see if that doesn't. Because the last time I did it in Windows NT 4.0, it permanently messed up the screen. And this time it didn't. Like, it was really funny. It permanently messed up the screen. It kind of made it all static key sort of this might be a bit small but like it's easier for me because tiny i don't like some people don't like tiny screens this is sort of so this isn't um windows 95c because as you can see i wasn't able to find it but the setup is exactly the same this wasn't really a tutorial this was sort of like a having fun sort of video i mean like i can make a tutorial i it started like a tutorial but then it went on to this sort of experiment so i don't know if what i'm gonna do i don't want to re-record this because like that that would take forever again but installing windows 95 on your phone which is like something that you never ever think of but yeah this is um just a fun video if you want to see like a a proper tutorial of actually installing the app from scratch then you can just put that in the comments and if a number of you actually say that then i will do that so this was a pretty fun video not like my usual one so anyway thanks for watching and i will see you in the next ones